There's always been a lot of food and beverage manufacturing in the state of Vermont. When you manufacture food, not everything that you put in a package ends up making it to the store. There's different reasons. Sometimes you have a short fill, the package isn't fully filled, or there could be some kind of a blemish. But where does all this waste go? It's a small state. Uh, maybe some of it used to go to a landfill, but as we all know, you can't put organics in landfills anymore. And so that's a sizable chunk of food waste that we want to put to good use somehow, but we have this challenge in front of us of dealing with the packaging. When you went into a landfill uh, years ago in the 70s, tremendous amount of cardboard, which obviously is a valuable resource. We're beginning to see uh, much more activity in terms of manufacturers trying to understand how they can make uh, their products in packaging that can be recycled. On a global scale, Ben & Jerry's is really looking to reduce our carbon footprint as much as possible and as quickly as possible. We obviously try to reduce any food waste that we have in the factory because all of those raw materials cost the business money and it costs even more to dispose of. And I think a lot of customers have packaging that has organic value in it. How do we extract that value? And then how do we look at the life cycle, whether it be landfilling, uh, organics facilities, waste to energy, w what are the systems that we have today that can protect the environment. But then there's also this question of contamination and any waste stream is going to have some degree of contamination in it that are always mixed with plastics to some degree. The whole Casella team, if you give us a challenging problem, we'll figure out how to work through it. We determined that the depackaging technology could help with a lot of these streams that otherwise were ending up in the landfills or ending up at waste energy plants and trying to extract as much value from those materials as we could. Traditionally what's happened is this material has been trucked, which is uh, expensive, trucking is expensive. What we're hoping to do with Casella is build a treatment plant in Vermont so we can eliminate that trucking and we can harness the organic material from depackaged food and put it into the grid. Casella is committed to environmental sustainability and has built a facility specifically designed to process and recycle packaged food and beverages. It's called a depackaging facility, and here's how it works. First, operators load packaged food into a large hopper. Augers move the material along into the machine. Inside, giant hammers or paddles break open the packages. The food falls through holes into one container and the empty packaging drops into another container. Now everything is separated. After separation, the food or beverage material can go to a compost site to be turned into soil for farms and gardens. Or it can go to an anaerobic digester where microorganisms will turn it into methane gas for making energy. And what about the packaging? Many types of plastic and metal can be simply baled and sent out for recycling. Packaging that isn't recyclable gets taken to the landfill for proper disposal and it's only a small fraction of what would have originally gone there. So now you know that Casella's depackaging facility separates food from its packaging so that the food can be turned into soil and energy. Some of the packaging can be recycled and only a small fraction needs to be thrown away. Continuing to think about things from an innovative perspective, you know, Michael's taking it to the next level with uh, our DPAC facility. We've worked with customers for the last, you know, six years working on this project to understand how we can use these products and how we can get the most value. Our job's not done today, but we're going to continue to innovate, and that's why we're working with UVM and Ben and & Jerry's and Purpose and all our different partners to say, how do we improve this process and how do we really look at things cradle to grave? and innovate around those aspects. Consumers have a role to play in, in um, you know, using your dollars as a way to vote for the companies that you'd like to support, but I also think that companies absolutely have the ultimate responsibility in doing what is right. You really have to get to a tipping point where you see that you've got an issue that needs to be resolved. Now, I think as a nation, and especially here in Vermont, I think we've realized that we hit that point. I love working on this. It's very meaningful and purposeful work. I'm also a mother and, you know, having the perspective of having children and knowing that they're going to inherit what we leave behind, um, it makes me feel good to be working on issues like this. The better processes that we've implemented to separate and isolate materials, like this depackaging system that Casella is installing in Williston, we're better able to recycle materials and use them more than once.
It's great to join you, even if it's only by video, to celebrate Casella Organics groundbreaking in Williston. Since the very beginning, Casella has always been innovative and creative in finding new ways to serve its customers and communities. I want to thank them for their leadership as they move into this new initiative with recycling, composting, and renewable resources. From humble beginnings in Rutland, Casella understands that as Vermonters, we believe in taking care of each other and our environment. From the Green Mountains to Lake Champlain, our natural resources are a tremendous benefit to our state, and we're committed to protecting them. This is why we've been a leader in conservation efforts, which includes recycling and composting. Casella has been a part of this work as well, constantly adapting to new trends, science, and technology. This new facility shows how important private partnerships are as we continue to focus on recycling, composting, and other waste-reducing initiatives. It's a reminder that we need to help our businesses innovate, not just because it's the right thing to do, but also because we can grow into new markets and grow our economy. So with that, I want to thank each and every one of you for your work to make this a reality, and I look forward to seeing you in person sometime very soon. Congratulations again.